Hello, this is Scott Kokenauer with Coffee Props, and uh, today we are speaking with Lisa, and Lisa is known as an the unclutter person, a time for and place for everything. Lisa, thank you for joining us. Thank you so much for having me on the call this morning. That's great. Now, Lisa, uh, you are also a you're an entrepreneur. You have a business, you run this business, and at the same time, you love coffee. So how did you, what's your story? What led you to discover the love of coffee? Okay, well, I come from an Italian heritage um, in New Orleans, and I remember growing up as a little girl, um, Grandma would cook the coffee on the stove, and she'd boil the milk on the stove, and so it's just one of those things that you grow up, it's just part of your culture, and of course, it's refined over the years. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And did, and did you uh, did you discover coffee when in you're in Houston, Texas, right? Right now. Oh my gosh! You know, I'm so glad you brought that up about um, Houston. So I've always loved coffee, always enjoyed coffee. My husband says I only drink coffee when I'm alone or with someone. But I, I met a new friend, and her name is Lisa Ann Heiser, and she owns Southern Hospitality Coffee Company. And so one day she says to me, I want you to try this. And, oh, my gosh, I can never go back to just the regular store shelves. Once you take and taste her coffee, oh, my gosh, it took my addiction to a whole nother level. <laughs> and, and what was it that was different? I think what was different is, is that it was a local roaster. It was free trade coffee. It was freshly ground, and then um, I started actually learning that there are different types of beans and just really refining. And so for me, I personally love Costa Rica La Manita. Now, the signature brand she has is the Texas Sunrise, so they are flavors. But I am definitely a purist, and I just love the actual a, um, a medium blend. Okay. Okay. Well, great. It's It's great that you – you discovered that, and a lot of people that we talk to, um, especially those who grew up with Folgers and and you know the, the <laughs> store bought, yeah, the store bought um, coffee that in a lot of cases their parents drank. Um, then they go into a coffee shop that's owned by a couple, uh, and and you know it's not a huge conglomerate, but they they walk in there, they have that taste of of coffee, and it's and it's like their eyes open. It's almost like yes. two different drinks completely. And, uh, Absolutely. So it's interesting to hear you talking about that. So um, so your role, you know, we, we talk about the coffee culture, and it goes from the farmer to the wash station to the importer to the roaster to the uh, barista to the consumer. Where do you fit in that whole coffee culture line? Well, as a professional organizer and author and business owner, for me, it's not just about, you know, trying to get the sale. To me, it's engaging with someone over a cup of coffee. There is this relaxing conversation. Um, Just There's just something about it. When I go to a client's home, they know they better have coffee for me. If I'm meeting with somebody new in the business community, they know that Lisa's going to want to sit down over coffee. So it's just kind of come to known as a joke, but almost real, that Lisa loves to sit down with a cup of coffee, and there's just that quietness, that centeredness, and you just really get to engage in relationships with people. I just love coffee. Why do you think it is that coffee brings conversation like that? Well, because you're not so busy, like when you're eating, you have a lot of little different things going on. Um, coffee is just very, very centered. Um, you know, I know in some cultures it might be the cup of tea, but definitely here it's, and for me, it's the cup of coffee, and it's just a single item. It's very soothing, relaxing, and it's just part of the conversation with people. Mm-hmm. So it draws people together because they have a common interest in a good cup of coffee. Absolutely. That's that is that. What is amazing to me is that is such a reoccurring theme. Everybody, really? everybody that I talk to, yeah, it, it's this common 
uh, it's almost like we can disagree about politics or about uh, religion or gender and all that sort of stuff. But when two people come together and they both love a cup of coffee, there's there's the beginning of a common ground, and no pun intended, but a common interest and a common appreciation yes. from which Absolutely. you can build a deep relationship and, in your case, a business relationship as well. So exactly. uh, what is your all-time favorite coffee drink? Now, I know it's... Did you say Colombian? Costa Rican, Mamelita. Costa Rican, that's right. I, Costa Rican, and and do you just prefer the black uh, cup of oh, coffee? Oh no, honey. Or? Oh no, no, no. <laughs> we like a latte. Okay? okay. And because I grew up where the milk is boiled on the stove, now you can warm the milk in the microwave, and you can use frothers. You could create okay. it at home. Yeah, I was going to ask and a little you that. Sweetener. Uh, being uh, you're so you're a home brewer as well oh my gosh absolutely and my son took a mission trip for three and a half months to run a coffee shop in Cusco, peru called the meeting place he came home more of a snob than me so he understands you know even the temperatures and the pour overs and oh yeah we're coffee snobs now we weren't totally well we love coffee but now we've stepped into a whole nother arena Yes, yes, and and in this case, the the phrase snob is an endearing one. Mm. Yes, I grew up actually on community coffee chicory. That's what I grew up on. Okay. And um, so, but like you said, you know, I've drank Folgers, Maxwell House, all that growing up, and it's no not good up to them, nothing at all. Right. But there's something different when you walk into a real coffee shop a real coffee person and barista who totally understands the perfection. Uh, that's, I think you're speaking to a lot of people right now who can identify with that very thing. That's, that's what draws them to their local coffee shop. Or in a lot of cases, and in particular larger cities, multiple coffee shops. You know, uh, no, some absolutely. that have Wi-Fi, some that don't. And, and, and so you get different things in different coffee shops. So, I think it's unfair for anyone to be asked, what is your favorite coffee shop? Um, oh, no, I totally, think. totally. Um, um, you know, I, I'm going to be very honest. Um, I prefer the um, the local coffee shops, but sometimes um, just in the speed of life, um, sometimes there is that occasional, well, no, it's a little bit more than that, um, got the app and everything and we won't say that person that business's name but yes i do the big chain mm -hmm. only for convenience sometimes but i do prefer when i can to stop at the local um small shop and i definitely order coffee from my um from my person mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's great that's great now before i let you go let's let's let everyone listening here Tell us in a brief couple of sentences what is what it is that you do, and then we'll look at where we can find you online. Awesome. Okay, so I am a published author of two books, My Life is a Mess, Organizing 101, and Uncluttered, Discovering Strength and Purpose in the Chaos of Life. And I am a certified professional organizer and speaker. So um, I love helping people in the bigger picture of their life and getting organized and uncluttered. Beautiful. And how do you pronounce your last name? Is it Geisler? It's Geisler. Geisler. Okay. I, that's why I didn't want to assume. I, I have a strange <laughs> last name as well, Kokenauer, and it's not. The spelling doesn't have anything to do with the pronunciation. So, uh, okay. So we can find you on Facebook at a time and place. Just type in the phrase "a time and place," and you're there. No, actually. Certified. And you can also um, on uncluttered as well. I have oh, okay. two on Facebook. <laughs> All right, uncluttered and, and, place and uncluttered. Place. Beautiful, and you're you also have a YouTube channel. So if you Google Lisa organizing, is that am I correct right? or Lisa Geisler? Lisa Geisler, and you'll you'll see her channel there. Um, you are also LisaGeisler dot com. That's Lisa G I E S L E R dot com uh, in correct. Houston. And then LinkedIn, man, you're everywhere. 
LinkedIn, Twitter. And same name, Lisa Geisler. Twitter, Lisa Geisler. And Pinterest. Instagram. A time and place for everything. And uh, so people listening who are very cluttered and want to do something about that, over a cup of coffee, check out Lisa. Right. If you just Google Lisa Geisler, you'll probably see everything you need to see. Um, and, and so, Lisa, thank you for taking the time to to speak to the Coffee Props community. We are excited to get into the lives a little bit of entrepreneurs and business people and just people from all walks of life all over the world who have this common appreciation for a cup of coffee. Absolutely. Thank you for the time. Thank you. Thank you.